guys. Welcome back to Fast Jack's Garage. Today we have an exciting day. We're getting the engine mounted up and we're going to hear it run for the first time. All right, let's get right into it. So it just so happens that the bolt, bolt holes on the motor line up with the already existing engine plate. But it's too far back, so I'm not going to just bolt the engine in and call it good. I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to end up moving it forward to about right here. And I'm going to take square tubing and notch it and weld it in right here so I can drill holes, not drill holes, I can weld this plate to that and to this bar right here. And then the engine is going to sit about right here. And there's a piece of flat bar, you can't see it too well on the camera, I don't think, but this that's going to go because right now it's in the way for the, I want the engine to end up. So yeah, let's start cutting up. Alright, so to make the engine fit the existing um, engine plate, I have to drill two, uh, two new holes in each of these as brackets, you call them, that bolt. So these bolt to the underside of the engine, and then this is going to bolt to the engine plate. So I have to drill, have to drill two new holes in each of these to make, it, you know, to make it fit in the new engine plate so they can have enough room to slide back and forth. If they use the existing ones, they won't, they'll hardly be able to move at all, thus just, you know, What's the point of the engine plate that they can hardly move? Why don't just bolt it straight to the frame? So yeah, uh, get those marked up, drill. Alright, so new plan. Uh, I tried to cut that engine plate out, but it was welded in too much and it ended up just gonna destroy the frame and the engine plate. So it was easier just to cut it in half and straight up take it out. I'll just make a new one, but a little bit more work, but it was gonna be way more work to try and get that thing out without breaking anything. So I got this, this piece, I'll cut the sides and uh, grind it down and all that. So now it's smooth so it kind of slides in though next to the tubing. And also I cut this engine plate right here. And um, so I need to drill some holes in that so I can make slots in it. And uh, yeah, I'll be good.
so the engine plate's all welded in, right there. It's all welded in, got welded all around it. But it shouldn't be going anywhere. So now it's time to uh, try and get mounts made up for this jack shaft right here. That side already has a bearing, but I need to find a bearing for that side and then I'll make a mount for it. And then I can make mounts that raise it up a little bit so it's not gonna be hitting the frame rails. <laughs> all bent up and all the angles are correct it fits in there pretty good so I just got to weld up right here and right there so it doesn't bend out on your load and then I can uh, install it and throw some tacks in it and then test everything to make sure no it's not all crooked and everything before I don't wheel and throw a big bead across it all right yeah let's get the welder out belt on it's not quite positioned right not really line almost lined up but I'm just gonna drill these holes a little bit bigger I can slide it over just like an eight maybe an eighth of an inch so yeah let's uh put some gas in it and fire it up real quick to make sure this clutch works because I have no idea if it does all right sorry I messed up <laughs> mirror this plate that was holding the secondary clutch in and how I said it was a little bit over but it'd be fine I could just drill these holes a little bit bigger and slide the clutch over yeah that didn't work so I actually had to, I had to take this plate right here, and I had to um, uh, weld this over on this plate, a quarter inch that way, so I could uh, get the clutch to line up. And now it lines up, so now we're going to wait for this to cool off, so I can bolt everything all up to it. It's actually pretty cool right now. And then I, can, uh, then I can put gas in it, and then we'll see how it works. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, 
But yeah, that's about it for today. Next video, we're gonna be fixing the front end, moving the steering wheel over, and we're gonna finish up the drivetrain in the back. All right, see you guys next time.